Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. In Access, you should assign a primary key to each table that you create. A primary key is simply a field or a grouping of fields that acts as a unique identifier for each record in the table. So you should use a field or grouping of fields that will always contain a unique value as your primary key. The advantages of assigning a primary key will become more evident as you learn about relational database structures. You'll see that when you assign a primary key to a table, it automatically indexes, or sorts, the table by the primary key. Also, because a primary key assigns a unique identification to each record, it reduces the chance of duplicate information being entered into the table. You can create a primary key on a single field by clicking the Row Selector button of the field which you would like to assign as the primary key of the table within the Table Design view. Then just click the Primary Key button in the Tools group on the Design tab within the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon in order to set the selected field as the primary key of the table. You'll see a small picture of a key appear in the Row Selector box to indicate that the field is now assigned as the primary key. If you selected the primary key field and clicked the primary key button again, it would actually remove that field from being the primary key in the table. Also note that you can create a multiple field primary key by holding down the control key on your keyboard and then clicking on the row selector boxes of the fields in the design grid that when combined would create a composite primary key. You would release the control key once you've selected the necessary fields and then click the primary key button in the tools group on the design tab within the table tools contextual tab in the ribbon. So if you have trouble finding a natural primary key within the data that's existent in your table, you can consider creating a new auto number data type field as a unique identifier for the records in your table, which you may then assign as the table's primary key. And then you can just click the save button in the quick access toolbar and save your table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com/free.